Hello, Luis. Hi, Luis. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Good, Hi. Good evening. How are you? How are you doing today? How do you feel? I'm fine, I'm doing. Very good. Ready for class? Yes. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. How was your weekend? I'm fine. Sorry. Relaxing? Yes. Did you watch any good movies? Mm, yes. Okay. All right. Welcome, Luis. Welcome, everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to be looking at this vocabulary over here in this section right here. We're going to be analyzing this vocabulary right there. Everybody, please repeat after me. Cash flow. Cash flow. Cash flow. Cash flow. Cash Cash flow. flow. Income statements. Income, Income statements. Income statements. Income, Income statements. Equity statement. Equity statement. Equity statement. Equity statement. Equity statement. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to review the vocabulary number one, vocabulary number two, vocabulary number three, and vocabulary number four. The first one says, repeat after me. Reports on the changes. Reports on the changes. In retained earnings. In retained, in retained earnings, earnings, earnings of a company, of a company, of a company, of a company during the stated period. During, during the stated period. period. Okay, so what would that be? Cash flow, income Cash statements, flow. equity statement, or balance sheets? Yeah. Balance sheets. Balance sheets. Very good. That is correct. So balance sheet is number one. Number two, repeat please. Reports a company's assets. Reports a company's assets. Liabilities. Liabilities. And owner's quality. And owner's quality. And owner's quality. At a given point in time. At a given At a point, 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 point in time. What would that be? Cash flow, income statements, or equity statements? Equity statement. That is correct. Equity statement is correct. Number three. Number three. Repeat. Reports on a company's incoming. Reports on a company incoming. And outcoming. And outcoming. Outcoming. Uh, it's that word doesn't exist. It should be outgoing. Outcoming. No. Outcoming. Outgoing. Outcoming oh, does, outgoing. doesn't exist. Outcoming doesn't exist. It's outgoing. 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 Uh -huh. Of cash. Of cash. Of cash. Of cash. 
its operating, investing, and financing activities. It's it operating, operating investing, and, and financing activities. 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 All right. So would that be cash flow, income statements, or equity statements? Which one would it be? Cash flow. Cash flow. Very good. Cash flow. Cash flow, that is correct. Cash flow. Cash no. flow. No. All right, repeat. Summarizes, Summarizes. Summarizes. a company's incomes, a com a company income, expenses, expenses, and profits, and profits. And over a period of time. Over a period, over a period of, time. of time. What is your answer? Income statement. Income statement. Income statements. Income statements. Repeat one more time. Cash flow. Cash flow. Cash flow. Income statement. Income, income statement. statement. Equity statement. Equity, 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 balance sheets. Balance, balance sheets. Sheet. All right. It, At this it, moment, does anybody have balance. any questions referring to this section right here? Do you have any questions referring to this section right here? No question. No questions. No, no, no nobody. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to be looking at pair work pair work discuss with a partner the following ideas share your opinion and give reasons number one we're going to look at number one it's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. Number two, last year, a company's owner fired many people. The owner carried such actions to save the company. Number, number three, it is mandatory for everybody to check on his or her profits to see how much can be invested or spent. Does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary in this section? Questions related to the vocabulary in this section? Questions, questions? From this vocabulary, right here. Mm -hmm. Owner, the owner. The owner. The owner. Owner carried. El dueño, the owner carried such actions. El dueño hizo estas acciones to save the company. Para salvar la compañía. That's right. Another question from this section? Me, teacher. Hi, Roxana. Hi. Number three. Donde dice, it is mandatory. Así. Mandatory. Mandatory. Mandatory quiere decir como requerido. Es obligación. Mandatory. Okay. Another question? Somebody? Somebody, somebody? No more questions, okay. So now for this activity, 
what you are going to do is you are going to discuss the situation. For example, number one, it is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. So you're going to respond. I don't agree with that idea. I think it is very important to know about the income and outgoing a company has. If I can understand, understand the financial situation of a company, then I will be able to make better decisions better decisions on a day to day basis. I will in fact create financial strategies fine. I will in fact create financial strategies to carry out specific short term and long term investments on the stock market or real estate. Boom, algo así lo van a responder, right? I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna send it to you. All right, for example, I don't agree with the idea. I think it is very important to know about the income and outgoing a company has. If I can understand the financial situation of a company, then I will be able to make better decisions on a day-to-day -day basis. I will, in fact, create financial strategies to carry out specific short-term and long-term investments on the stock market or real estate. All right, esa es mi opinión. That's what, that's my opinion. Obvio, ustedes van a poner las suyas. Do you understand? Do you understand, guys? Do you understand the activity? Van a dar su opinión acerca de lo que dicen las frases. Do you understand? Yes. yes, teacher. Okay. We're going to work in pairs. In pairs. You have 10 minutes. 10 minutes to complete this activity. 10 minutes to complete this activity.
Eh, Roxana, usted está con Marvin. Ok. So you can join Marvin Antonio and Roxana Valladares, working pairs. De las tres preguntas, Patricia. That's correct. One, two, and three. Sobre lo de cash, grow, income statement, de eso. No, en la parte de abajo, en la 3. Ajá. Dice par, par girl. Ajá. Mm. Vamos a dar la opinión de las tres, de las tres preguntas o, o de los tres puntos que están ahí o solamente de uno. De las tres. O sea, la que, la que él hizo y las otras dos, ¿verdad? Ajá. Solamente que esa opinión le vamos a cambiar esa que él hizo, porque ya te dijo que era la opinión de él. Sí, otra. No te <risa> <risa> la idea, man. Ajá. I, I like that, Elmer. I like that, Elmer. Good job. Good job, Elmer. Ahí <risa> te <risa> Questions, 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 questions. Teacher, una What's pregunta. Up? What's up? Uh, number three, en la parte dice, here profits. Profits, ganancias. Oh, profit, okay. Profits, ganancias. Pueden dar las mismas opiniones, no tienen que hacerlo separado. Pueden dar las mismas para los dos. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh, guys, Conocer los puede... ingresos y los resultados que tiene una empresa. Uh, guys, you don't have to give me different opinions. The, the three of you can express the same opinions. So you can do it together. Do you understand? Una opinión diferente de cada quien. No, no, no. You can give the same opinion. The same. The same opinion. Do you understand the same opinion? Do you understand the same opinion? Nuestra opinión tiene que ser. Uh, Sí, pero la palabra same quiere decir la misma. Ah. So when I say to you the same opinion, quiere decir puede ser la misma opinión para, para los tres. No tiene que ser una opinión Elmer, otra Carla y otra Nelly. Sino okay. que puede ser the same opinion for the three of you. So you can work it together para que trabajen juntos. Sí, teacher. Okay, teacher. Yes, that's teacher. right, that's right, that's right. Bye. That's right. You can have the same opinion for the two of you. The same opinion for the two of you. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Guys, it can be the same opinion, the same opinion for the two of you. It can be the same opinion. Hello? Sí. Hola, hola. Okay. Ah, que la empresa o cómo es el manejo en sí de la empresa. Si para nosotros o la la discutir este en sí. It can be the same opinion. It can be the same opinion for the both of you. El primer punto, eh, conocer los ingresos, los resultados que tiene la empresa. Bueno, para mí es 
como empleado sería importante conocer los movimientos, cómo sería el manejo de la inversión de la empresa. ¿no? Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, que... Le podemos poner, estoy de acuerdo con la idea, para saber la, los gastos y los... Y las ganancias serían, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Qué tiene la empresa? Así es. Sí, de acuerdo, por eso. Le... Empresa. My, I, I got a white tea to call this present and the iron that the company has. Algo así sería. Eh, ajá, estoy de acuerdo con la idea. Creo que es muy importante conocer los ingresos y salidas de fondos, podremos decir. Pero, pero bueno, uh -huh. pero, uh -huh. estaba bien también. Ajá. Y salidas eh, de las finanzas que tiene la empresa. Uh -huh. También. Pueden ser las mismas opiniones para los dos. Ok. Ok. Entonces, ¿cuál pone Montaña? Este, Luis. <risa> ok, ¿qué digo que es? Que para, no sé qué, qué dice usted. Para mí es, sí, es importante ver las finanzas, el movimiento que tiene la empresa. Para, para saber cómo es el manejo. Lo que... Ajá, está bien. Uh -huh. este, entonces le ponemos, es importante. Sí, es importante. Saber, saber los reportes o cómo es. Los reportes. Es importante conocer. Uh -huh. Es importante uh -huh. conocer los uh -huh. ingresos. Uh -huh. los ingresos uh -huh. y salidas de finanzas de finanzas que tiene la empresa okay. es importante conocer los ingresos y las y la salida y no es importante conocer los ingresos y salidas de finanza que tiene la empresa así es sí sería sí, sí. sí. Okay. Uh -huh. sí. esta sería de cuatro estancias el otro El segundo. Uh -huh. Solo eso. Porque tu chico puso gran texto. Pero no, nunca vamos a terminar. Nada ah, más. <risa> <risa> Ahí está. <risa> Uy. <risa> <risa> Mucho texto al teacher. <risa> Ay, no. <risa> Hola, teacher. Pero le faltó porque él puede. <risa> ah, pues sí, porque él puede. <risa> no soy bueno para la escritura, la verdad. Sí. Me, me encanta la escritura y la lectura. Sí. Se ve, <risa> Más estos términos como yo eso, estudié administración de empresas allá en los Estados Unidos. De verdad. Sí. Qué chido. Entonces, estos temas para mí son easy. 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 No, y algunas palabras oh. me podía porque en bachillerato vimos con un módulo en inglés, pero no, mm. no me acuerdo. Ah, ok. Vieron finanzas en inglés. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. 
Sí. No, a mí me encanta la finanza. Sí. Sí, genial. Me A ver, aquí en esta, en la segunda dice, el año pasado el dueño de una empresa despidió a muchas personas. El propietario llevó a cabo tales acciones para salvar a la empresa. That's right. Quiero ver, ¿será que pone eso? Es como Pero... continuación de lo que estábamos hablando. Ajá, prácticamente. Ah, la estabilidad, la estabilidad. laboral. Uh -huh. Pues ahí, este, más que todo, fue por algún error también que pudo haber cometido él. Uh -huh. No, la, ahí, debería, haría, ahí debería de ser si tú estás de acuerdo con la acción que tomó. Debería, ah. de, debería de él mantenido, porque está diciendo que él despidió a muchas personas. Es como lo que están haciendo en muchos en muchas empresas, downsizing. Uh -huh. Te dicen, no te estamos despidiendo porque no has hecho nada malo. Uh -huh. Simplemente te estamos haciendo un layoff. Ellos le dicen layoff, que se escribe así, layoff. Pero vas, un layoff es lo mismo. Es una manera de decirte... Layoff. Ajá, te estamos diciendo, te estamos diciendo, pero layoff, o sea, Oye, es, es básicamente está despedido con clase, o sea, con como clase. quien dice, básicamente, no, layoff quiere decir te estamos despidiendo, pero no porque, has hecho, no porque has hecho algo malo. Como un recorte de personal. That's right, exactamente recorte personal. Soel, so me imagino Entonces, que hizo recorte personal para salvar a la empresa. Pero igual afectó a las personas. That's right. He ahí el detalle. Uh -huh. okay. so, Ustedes van a decir, yo estoy de acuerdo con la acción que él tomó. Porque es preferible que un poco de personas pierdan su trabajo a que todos pierdan el trabajo, si la empresa se pierde, se pierde, se pierden todos los empleos, no solamente los pocos que fueron despedidos. Cierto. Agree de acuerdo, ¿verdad? That's right. I agree o I disagree. Entonces, I agree. I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. I disagree. Estoy desacuerdo. Disagree. Uh, ¿Ustedes qué sí. opinan? Lo que dijo, él tiene mucho sentido. Sí. ¿Verdad? Sí, claro. Porque una empresa en, en este, así, casi en bancarrota, entre menos... Hi, Jesse. How are you? Hi, teachers. Also. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Jesse, sí. we are working on this section over here. We are working on section number three, okay. page number 39. And we are analyzing section number one, number two, and section number three. 
So you are going to express your opinion about these in groups, Roxana, Marvin, and Jesse. And you're going to give me one opinion. Do you understand? Okay, teacher. All right. Hola, Jesse. Hola. Think we want to think about that one discussion. Lo uh, puedes mandar más mejor. With Rosana, we we'll answer at the number one. Okay. Okay. We start on the number one. Now, because this is number yes, the number one. Okay. okay. The discussion is is not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes a company has. Marvin. So, in our opinion, uh huh. Como pronuncias, espérate. Porque como estamos hablando de, de despidos. ¿verdad? Despidos. Ajá. Entonces, ya que permite reducir costos administrativos. En momentos de crisis. Ajá. Como, bueno, por ejemplo, lo que estamos viviendo ahorita. Hay muchas empresas que han tenido que recortar personal para haber disminuido sus gastos. That is... Para poder salvar la, la empresa. Dice, nosotros consideramos que en ocasiones son necesarias estas decisiones temporalmente, ya que permite reducir costos administrativos en momentos de crisis para poder salvar la empresa. Al recuperar, al recuperar, sí. momentos de crisis, ¿no? Hola. En momentos momento de, de crisis, crisis. Ajá. para poder salvar la empresa. Para poder salvar la empresa. Ajá. In order to save the company. Gracias. Al recuperarse en el corto plazo. Ya se puede salvar la empresa, ¿verdad? No me cabe. No dije mucho espacio. Ahí lo dejamos. Yo hasta ahí lo voy a dejar porque ya no me cabe. ¿A dónde? Hasta para poder salvar la empresa. Ah, eh, ok. La segunda, la tercera. Sí, we consider, we consider that these decisions are sometimes necessary temporarily since it allows, allows use to reduce administrative costs in times, in of, times crisis of crisis in order to save the company. Ah. La tercera que dice.
Así que es importante medir o verificar las ganancias que tienen para, para ver si pueden invertir, cómo lo pueden invertir o cómo pueden gastar mucho. Dice, es obligatorio ahí? que todos verifiquen sus ganancias para ver cómo se puede invertir o gastar mucho. Sí. Porque pensamos que <coughs> es obligatorio saber este tipo de información. Para poder tener un balance en los ingresos y los gastos. Y así poder tomar decisiones que permitan mejorar la rentabilidad de la empresa. No sé qué dice. Para poder qué. Para poder tomar decisiones que permitan mejorar la rentabilidad de la empresa. Es decir, pensamos que sí es obligatorio saber este tipo de información para poder tener un balance en los ingresos y los gastos y así poder tomar decisiones que permitan mejorar la rentabilidad de la empresa. We think that this is, it is mandatory to know this type of information in order to have a balance in income and expenses and thus be able to make decisions that allow improving the profi profitability of the company. No sé si estamos de acuerdo. Repítame otra vez como dijo. Lo... El... En, en, en español. Sí. Va, sería, pensamos ah. que sí es obligatorio saber este tipo de información para poder tener un balance en los ingresos y los gastos. Y así poder tomar decisiones que permitan mejorar la rentabilidad de la empresa. No sé si le agregamos algo más o está bien así. Y la última parte, ¿cómo se la traduce? No sé si está ahí. Dice, Improving the profitability of the company. Gasto, después de balance de los ingresos. And thus be able to make decision. Es que no sé si me lo tra... me sale bien, me sale tus permita después. T H U S. Tus. Uh -huh. Así. Sus, así. Sus es así. ¿Cómo? Así, así significa, así. Sí, eso. Sí. No, sí está bien. Ah, sí. Vale, entonces ya lo tienen completo, ¿verdad? 
Solo la última parte me falta copiar. ¿Lo ve? Pero. Ahorita veo. Lo veo del lado, Mauricio. Hola. Lo veía del lado. ¿Ahora? No se ve bien. Yo creo que sí. Esto es lo que va a hacer. Mándenme un hola al WhatsApp. Ah, no, pero yo creo que esto está bien. Ok. Y ya, ya actualizaron la plataforma. ¿La qué? Me falta la plataforma. No. Yo la, la 12 no la pude pasar, me salen malas. A mí la 9. Mm. Ah, esa me costó también. Pero al final sí me salieron mal. ¿Cuál es la mala de la 9? Es que yo coloco, por ejemplo... En la número 3. He uh, will he to like their boy a guy. No voy a revisar. Y si ya las hizo Dani. Ya terminé una, pero no sé cuál. Welcome back, Francisco. Welcome back. How are you today? All right. Excellent. Excellent. Right now, we are working from this section right here. We're looking at section number three, this section right here. This is page number 39, as you can see. All right, let me have one volunteer, one volunteer for number one. Marvin Antonio, go ahead, Marvin, number one. Uh. Teacher, we didn't finish yet. We are in the number two. Okay. Do you have an opinion for number one? Uh, well, yes, we have. Okay. I was working with Rosanna and... No. <laughs> Number one, in our opinion, that incomes and outcomes are important to know because can we know how to manage our company and we realize how are the profit. Very good. Thank you, Marvin. Good job, Marvin. Select somebody. Marvin, select somebody, please. Uh, 
Carla Yesenia. All right, Carla Yesenia, number two, please. We consider that the decisions are something necessary temporarily. Is it all of reducing an administrative cost in times of crisis or order to say to company? Perfect. Very good. Thank you, Carla Yesenia. Carla Yesenia, select somebody, please. Daniel Armando. Daniel Armando. Daniel Armando. Number three. Number three. Okay. For number three, we think that if we, if it's uh, it's mandatory to know this type of information, to have a balance in incomes and outcomes, to be able to make decision to improve the profitability of the company. Perfect, perfect, excellent work. Thank you, Danielle. Okay, guys. Now, what you're going to do is we're going to look at the listening activity. Listening practice. This is going to be listening comprehension. Tell me, what do you see? What do you see in the picture? Que ves en la foto? Money. Money. How do you say monedas? Coins. Coins. Veo pobreza. Coins. <laughs> right, coins. All right, so for the pre-listening exercise, we are going to look at this section over here. Number one, what are common monthly expenses for a student living on their own, including student or car loans? How about a family of four? Write a list of your expenses. Figure out how much money you spend on each area and what percentage of your income pays for each. So you're going to answer these questions about money. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary? Questions related to this vocabulary? One. Loans. Car loans. Car loans. Prestamos de carro. Another question? Me, teacher. Yes? And there is uh, what are common mon monthly? Or mon monthly, mensual. Monthly. Uh, monthly, mensual. Okay. Mensualmente, monthly. Another question from this section? Another question from this section. Ooh. Question, question. Somebody. Okay, you're going to answer the questions in pairs. You're going to answer the questions in pairs. Les voy a mandar el link al chat del Zoom. Y ahí lo tienen también ustedes en el libro.
Okay, ready? And let's go. Veo que Jesse no entró, Yesenia no entró, Elmer Juárez no entró. Tiene que entrar, guys. Ya lo mandó el, 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 link. el link. Yo creo que lo tengo aquí, así son, espérame. Ay, que me duele la cabeza. No sé. Porque esto es lo que vamos a practicar también. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo que lo que vamos a hacer. Que me cargue. Es que no sé por qué tengo internet en la compu y no tengo internet en el teléfono. Y es la misma red. El wifi. Es el uh -huh. teléfono. Es ser que... Pero, sí. Lento. <ríe> Como monte, monte. Página 40 era, ¿verdad? Sí, es que no tengo internet aquí, espérame. Y usted lo puede ver. Ahí, ahí lo están proyectando, ¿ve? ¿Quién lo está proyectando? Yo te sé. Va José Luis, que, José Luis lo está proyectando. Ah, solo que tenía una consulta. Decía, con el audio no lo vamos a escuchar ahorita. Eh, no, todavía no. Ahorita. El audio. Ah, ah, pues sí. Es que nosotros el audio estábamos queriendo buscar. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Pues. Entonces, ahí la pregunta, o lo que nos quiere decir. What are common? ¿Cuáles son los gastos? Monthly mensuales. Eh, expenses. Expenses co comunes para uh, uh, for, uh, for, uh, para estudiantes. Tres preguntas son, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Son tres. What are common monthly expenses? How about a family of four? Son dos. Write a list of four expenses. Son cuatro. Y what percentage of your income pays for each? Son cuatro. Okay. Ahí las está proyectando Luis. Sí. Yes. Dice expenses. <clears throat> Pueden ser las mismas respuestas para los dos. Ok. La primera pregunta es... No. You've got to curb your spending or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards, oh. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car. Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date without a car. What am I going to say? Uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at 7? Come on! And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to it. And start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me $50. $50? Wait, I only borrowed $20 from you last week. How did you come up with 50? Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth 30. Ok. 
que dijo usted. <ríe> Yo lo entendí, está... Salvador. Más que está bien largo. Sí, yo me estoy algo como de... Colegia Tura sería... Colegia Tura como la universidad, algo así. ¿Cómo qué? College. Eh... ¿Cómo se escribe? Ajá, Colegia Tura. Um, Ay, siempre me no es. Colegiatura. Hello, hello. What's going on? We have a question. Yeah. Um, he this uh, uh, what are the common monthly expenses for the student living on their own? That's okay. Including a student or Carlos. Okay, but how about a family of four? So we have to figure out in two cases. That's one right. For a student and, and one what, for a family of four. Correct. That is correct. Okay. Yes. Because it's, we think maybe it's a, a student to live together, like four that, students in the same home. That's perfect. To save money and you can rent, you can have a roommate. Okay, so but what is the case that we have? We can... uh, both, you can write one for one and one for the other one. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Payment. Colegiatura. Is... 70 dollars. ¿Va? Bien. Eh, combustible unos 100 dólares. No. Al mes. Al mes. Sí. No, yo digo que unos 50. Bueno, si viven en el mismo lugar, de, de, si viven en el mismo lugar del trabajo, posiblemente. Pongámosle 60, eh. Va, ni usted ni yo, 60. <risa> 60. Internet, sí, creo que el básico anda por 35. Ajá, 35. Servicios básicos, 10 de agua y 5 de luz. 15. Menos 15 pesos. En comida sí gasta unos 50. Eh, quizás un poquito más, porque imagínese que si son cinco días a la semana, cada plato de comida que lo esté comprando a unos 50, por, por decirlo así, desayuno, almuerzo y cena, tres son cuatro, cinco dólares diarios. Estamos sí, hablando a la semana 25, 50, 75. 100 dólares. Por ahí. Poniendo unos 50 chucherías que pueda comer de desayuno, por ejemplo, un licuado y un, dos, dos, dos coras de fruta. Bueno, pongámosle 100 pesos. Por en ahí. papelería, unos 40, unos 30. Bien. 30. 30. En cerveza. En cerveza. Ah, no, ahí sí se les va a mencionar. De barato cada fin de semana son unas 20 pesos. Uy. 80. Casi lo mismo que en comida. Ay, es no. que gasta más, en, más, gasta más en eso que en comida. Va a ver, cuando lo pongamos todos van a opinar. <risa> Vaya, no es 80. Vaya, dice que hay que ver el porcentaje. Y los separatos son 10, 10 dólares. Así escribe separata. Sí. 
Hola, Jessy. Yo casi no les escucho, pensé que está lloviendo bien fuerte. Aquí también. No oigo nada, Carlita. Pero le voy a escribir. Y está en San Salvador. Ella está en Cojotepec. Yo estoy no. en San Salvador y está acá en una gran tormenta. Así que le estoy ahorita que voy a escribir en San Salvador. ¿Cómo se escribe separata, Mauricio? Reprim. ¿Cómo? Reprim. R-E-P-R-I-N-T-S. Yo que ya uno, uno de 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 un apartamento aquí. Vaya. Ay, que se me escucha ya. De ahí dice que vamos a poner el porcentaje de, de cada uno. Supongo del salario, ¿eh? Sí. Vaya, digamos que está el 100%. Por en comida gasto un 30%. All right, guys, now we are going to take the attendance. Let's look at number one. Let's look at the one Arturo absent. Yesenia Beatriz present. Yesenia Beatriz. Yesenia Beatriz. Present. In Okay. okay, thank you. Jesse Elizabeth. Jesse Elizabeth. Present teacher. Present, thank you. Nelly. Present. Present. Carla Yesenia. Present. Present. Carla Beatriz. Present. Present. All right, so we got here. Present, present, present. <coughs> Roxana Patricia. <coughs> Roxana Patricia. Sorry, tenía el micrófono apagado, present. Present, thank you. Daniel Armando. Present, teacher. Present. Francisco. Present, teacher. Present. All right. Elmer Neftali. Present teacher. 
first. Luis Jose. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra. Mayra? Mayra is absent. Mauricio Efraín. Present. Marvin Antonio. Present. Present. And that's it. Okay. Hey guys, estuve chequeando los grades de todos ustedes ahora. Se los voy a enseñar. Necesito que todos estemos al día. All right. Aquí están, ve. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. 80, 80, 100, 100, 100. En la sección 1 y la sección 2, veo que la mayoría va bien. Pero la sección 3 sí va bien baja. 20, 40, 46, 40, 20, 40, 20, 40, 20. Right. Tenemos que hacer la sección 3. El midterm, vamos bien. 100, 100. 100, 100. Veo que están, hay unos que van más atrasados que otros. Eh, ¿Quién tiene esa interferencia? Carla Beatriz, le vamos a dejar su micrófono en silencio porque se escucha una interferencia bien rara, no sé por qué. Ok. Eh, so necesito que por favor terminemos en la sección 3. Y el midterm. Todos tenemos que ya haber terminado esto. ¿Por qué? Porque esta semana les va a tocar hacer sección 4 y el examen final. final. That's right. So, por favor, estemos al día con, las, con sus ejercicios. Ok, ¿por qué? Porque si yo voy acá a la sección curso... Ok, so todas estas actividades del 3, todas, tarea 1, tarea 2, tarea 3, 14, todo eso tiene que hacerlo. Y también acá, donde están las discussions. Todas estas, ve, veo que casi nadie las ha hecho. Estas discussions también afectan su puntaje. Así que, please, pongámonos al día. Ya solo nos queda una semana. Ok, teacher. Ok. Um, is everybody finished answering the questions? Are you finished answering these questions? You finished? Not yet, teacher. Not yet? Okay. Uh, yeah, we didn't have time. How much time do you need? Five minutes, ten minutes? How much time? Five minutes. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Okay. Uh, Yesenia tiene que entrar. Aquí estoy, teacher. Ok, tiene que entrar a la sesión pequeña. Ah, ok. Hola, Nelly. ¿Cómo va con el ejercicio? Ya lo hice. ¿Y tú? Lo único que no he copiado las oraciones. Solo puse... ¿Tú ya lo hiciste? Es que no sé si es ese porque me tiró... El que le baja... El, por ejemplo, el primero que dice The man is speaking with his... his ese. Espérame. 
que es sister. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Esa. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí, yo le las ese también. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, una me falta. The woman should have that the man. Yeah. Eso. <laughs> Se escucha la lluvia ya. No, no. Me no. está cayendo una gran tormenta. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. <laughs> It's raining. It's raining. I love the rain. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I love the rain. Yes. Right here, it was raining earlier, like around three or four. It was raining. Oh. And then I went to sleep, like around five. I knocked out. <laughs> and then Perfect. I. Perfect. Yeah. So, yep. And then I woke up, like around seven. And I wash my face, brush my teeth, <laughs> get ready for the class. Yeah. <laughs> Yo quiero que sean los para dormir. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Yo me levanté, me voy a levantar a las seis. I'm going to go running. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow is my cardio day. Yo hago a las seis de la tarde. Oh, really? What do you do? Uh, Cardio. Exercise. Ex eh, eh, un día sí, un día no. Primer, un día es ejercicio de fuerza y otro día es cardio. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I do the same. One day I do weights. Uh, the next day, only running. The next day, only weights. And the next day, only running. Weights? Huh? What does it mean? Weights. Weights. Pesas. Oh. I don't know three libras. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, <that's Bella>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. That's the idea to do the cardio. The cardio. Yeah. It's the best. It's muy bueno. Yeah. Welcome back. Okay, we're going to check. Let me have number one, Nelly. What are common monthly expenses for a student living on their own or including student or car loans, in your opinion? What is your opinion, Nelly? What is your opinion, Nelly? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Number one. What are actualmente? I don't know. No idea? Okay. Yesenia? No, teacher. No? Creo que entendimos mal y por eso no, no hicimos eso. Ok. Carla Beatriz. Uh, 
Eh, son los gastos que él tiene, ¿verdad? That's right. Vale, por ejemplo, rental, feeding, internet, basic service, uh, food, eh, como gasolina, combustible. Fuel. 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 Mm. Uh, stationary. Eso sí. Diga la otra. No. <laughs> <laughs> Beer. You sure. Beer. Beer. Es indispensable de un estudiante que vive solo. That's right. Some beers. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. All right. Now, uh, go ahead, Mauricio. The next one. How about a family of four? Um, food, rent, uh, internet, basic service. Um, medical. Uh, sería uh, como medicina. Medicine. Medicine. Um, vestuary. Okay. Clothes. Clothes. Um, uh, clothes. Mm -hmm. clothes. Um, solo, only. Only that? Okay. The, the next one, Marvin, write a list of your expenses out of how much money you spend on each area. That's what I didn't finish. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow. I spend in my house payment. A lot of money. <laughs> Bills, mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. um, college payment for my little son, mm -hmm. uh, medical expenses, mm -hmm. and clothes. Okay, excellent. Now, what we're going to do is analyze this right here. Idioms. Repeat after me. Lie through one's teeth. Lie one's teeth. Lie so you don't get into trouble. Lie so you don't get into trouble. The man lied through his teeth. The man lied through his teeth. Even though he was guilty of the crime. Even though he was guilty of the crime, rip someone off, rip someone off, cheat someone, cheat someone. I decided to hire a lawyer. I decided to hire a lawyer because the salesman ripped me off. Because the salesman ripped me off. Okay, so these are what we call <laughs> idioms. Lie through one's teeth, rip someone off, right? These are idioms, modismos. Lie through one's teeth, quiere decir eh, mentir para que no te pongas en problemas. Rip someone off is cheat someone o estafar a alguien. Okay, now we're going to listen. The first one, the first question says, the man is speaking with his, mm. uh, can I borrow a few bucks? Yes, a little strap for cash. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The next one says, how do you describe the man's current situation? 
you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, and I've used my... The next one says, which sentence best describes the man's dining practices? Which sentence best describes the man's dining practices? The next one. The man's apartment is. The next one. The woman suggests that the man And that's it. Yes, uh, Marvin, did you have a question? I can hear the audio. Okay, uh, one moment, please. Uh, could I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm pinching pennies myself, and you still owe me $20 from last week. Oh. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh, yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well. To be honest, I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently, but now I can't seem to pay the money off. Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay $890 on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV, but the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, $890? Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay. How much money do you spend on food a month? Hmm, well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about $600. $600? Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons. Uh, exactly how much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well, oh, about $400 or so. Or so? No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car, but I got a great deal and my monthly payments are only $450 a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards, Aww. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car. Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date without a car. What am I going to say? Uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at 7? Come on! And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to it. <sighs> and start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me $50. $50? Wait, I only borrowed $20 from you last week. How did you come up with 50? Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth 30. <sighs> Uh, you got it, or you want me to repeat? Repeat, please. Repeat? Okay.
Uh, could I borrow a few bucks until payday? I'm a little strapped for cash. Ah,、uh, yeah, I guess. But I'm pinching pennies myself, and you still owe me twenty dollars from last week.、Oh. And Mom and your friend Ron said that you borrowed money from them this past week. Oh yeah. And how are things going anyway? Well, not very well, to be honest. I'm really in a hole, and I can't seem to make ends meet these days. What do you mean? I thought you'd landed a great job recently, so you must be loaded. Well, I do have a job, but I've used my credit cards to pay off a lot of things recently. But now I can't seem to pay the money off.、Uh, do you have a budget? I mean, how do you keep track of your income and expenses? Well, when my money runs out, I come to you, of course. Great. No, but I guess I should have some financial plan. Well, let's see if I can help you. How much money do you spend on your apartment? Uh, I pay eight hundred ninety dollars on rent for the studio apartment downtown, not including utilities and cable TV. But the place has an awesome view of the city. Uh, eight hundred and ninety. Why are you paying through the nose for such a small place when you could find a cheaper one somewhere outside of the downtown area? Yeah, I guess. Okay. How much money do you spend on food a month? Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure. I think I spend about six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Well, I go out to eat at least four times a week, so the expenses add up. I just don't enjoy eating alone, and I don't have a knack for cooking like you do. Well, I can understand that, but perhaps you ought to buy some microwavable meals you could just prepare at home. Well, I guess I could. And entertainment? Well, I spend a few dollars here and there on basketball, and movie tickets, a concert or two, and ballroom dance lessons. Ah,、uh, exactly how much do you spend on all of these? Just a few dollars? Well, oh, about four hundred dollars or so. Or so. No wonder you're having money problems. You just can't blow your money on things like that. And what about transportation? Well, I commute to work every day in my new sports car. But I got a great deal, and my monthly payments are only four hundred fifty dollars a month. Come outside and take a look. We can go for a spin. No, I've heard enough. You've got to curb your spending, or you'll end up broke. I suggest you get rid of your credit cards,、Aww. cut back on your entertainment expenses, and sell your car.、Huh? Take public transportation from now on. Sell my car? I can't date. Without a car, what am I gonna say?、Uh, could you meet me downtown at the bus stop at seven? Come on! And you need to create a budget for yourself and stick to、uh-huh. it. And start with paying off your bills, starting with me. You owe me fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Wait, I only borrowed twenty dollars from you last week. How did you come up with fifty? Financial consulting fees. My advice is at least worth thirty. <sighs> All right. Let me have a volunteer number one. The man is speaking with his friend, mom, or sister. Me, teacher. Yes, Anya Beatriz. Yes, Anya Beatriz. Hello, hello, sister. All right, sister. Very good. Correct. Number two. How did you describe the man's current situation? He's in debt and is trying to borrow money. He has a lot of expenses, including student loans. He has a decent job, but he's looking for a new one. Option number one, teacher. He's in debt and is trying to borrow money. Correct. Which sentence best describes the main, the man's dining practices? Yes, Anya Beatriz. Number one. Very good. He doesn't know how to cook very well. Number two, the man's apartment is an apartment downtown with free parking, a small place with a nice view of the city, a spacious apartment that includes cable TV. Number two. Excellent. A small place with a nice view of the city. The next one. The woman suggests that the man ought to get rid of his car to save money, stop spending money on entertainment, be careful when using his credit cards. Number three. 
Number one. Ought to get rid of his car to save money. Correct. All right. Now we're going to look at multiple mixed up sentences. I want you to organize the phrase in the correct order. You're going to organize the phrase in the correct order. Lo va a organizar, organizar para hacer una oración completa. Hi, Myra. Hi, teacher. Se va conectando. Good night. Good evening. Sí, teacher. Hace un, hace un ratito. Okay. Finish. No picture. Finish. Got it? I got it. All right. What is the first one? What is the first one? Um. ¿Cuál es la primera? ¿Qué va primero? Okay. Ella. Who? She. 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 Okay, she. Next. She pinched. Uh huh. Pennies. Uh huh. And <laughs> to make. Uh huh. For several years. And several meat. And meat. Uh huh. For <laughs> <laughs> For several years, okay. <laughs> she pinched pennies to make ends meet for several years. Let's check. She pinched pennies to make ends meet for several years. Sorry, try again. <laughs> Eh. 
Sorry, try again. She pinched for several years pennies to make ends meet. That's weird. She pinched several years. She she pinched pennies. Pennies. She pinched pennies for several for several years to make meat. Okay. Oh, finally, correct. <laughs> that one was difficult. She pinched pennies for several years to make ends meet. Very good. Any questions? Questions? Somebody? Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Y se podría hacer de diferente manera la misma oración dando el mismo significado con las mismas palabras. Sí, cambiándole el for several years al final. O for several years al principio. Esta frase se puede combinar al medio, al frente o al final. Okay, gracias. Yes. Okay, guys, now we are going to do the following activity in the student book. Ooh, it's raining, it's raining. Unit two. All right, so we're gonna go to the next one, which is expand your listening comprehension. Oh, the video's not available. That sucks. <laughs> Vamos a reportar este link. What page 39? Page 39 link is no good. All right, so we're going to look at so and such. So and such. The first one, repeat please. It is so necessary for the company. 
So I want you to notice that when you use so, right, you use the adjective. It is so necessary. So necessary is the adjective. It is so beautiful. Adjective. It is so cold. Adjective. It is so scary. Adjective. It is so hungry. Okay. So, después del so, vas a escribir un adjective. Necessary es un adjective. Adjective quiere decir adjetivo. Beautiful, adjective. Mm -hmm. Cold, adjective. And scary, adjective. Hungry, adjective. Okay? Pero cuando usas such, no es lo mismo. Cuando usas such, Vas a usar un noun. Por ejemplo, it is such a beautiful day. Es un día bello. ¿Cuál es el noun? Day. No. It is such a necessary tool. Es una herramienta muy necesaria. ¿Cuál es el noun? Tool. tool. It is such a cold night. ¿Cuál es el noun? Night. night. It is such a scary movie. ¿Cuál es el noun? Movie. 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 It is such a hungry dog. ¿Cuál es el noun? Dog. Dog. Right. So, todos, todo lleva su propósito. El so, solo lo vamos a usar con el adjetivo. So necessary, so beautiful, so cold, so scary, so hungry. Y el such siempre lo vamos a usar con un noun. Right? It is such a beautiful day. It is such a necessary tool. It is such a cold night. It is such a scary movie. It is such a hungry dog. So, acuérdese, si va a usar so, le sigue un adjetivo. Si vas a usar such, le sigue un adjetivo y un noun. Y el, no, el article, a o an. So, for this activity, I want you to complete the sentences with so or such, then compare answers with the partner. You will have 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Let's go.
No, eso que no nos salga eso. No, yo creo que sí. Porque they are so important. The mm -hmm. architect, a ver cómo se dice, is so a creative woman. Voy a ver qué significa esa palabra. Aquí. Mm -hmm. Arquitecto. La arquitecta. El diría. arquitecto es. Hola. Es una mujer creativa. Ahí está. Es una, mujer tan, es una mujer tan creativa. Tan creativa. Donde uh -huh. dice complete de sentencias con with so or such, de compa. Se la, ¿Ya uh -huh. la vio? De la primera, en la primera sí, eh, so, se are so importante. Eh, la segunda, si sí, ponemos nosotros. Espérame. Eh, la, la. En la segunda tendría que ir para mí. Sí. So. La, arquitecto. Arquitecto significa arquitecto. Uh -huh. Arquitecto dice es entonces un Solo que activo. woman le cambia el significado. Uh -huh. Ya no sería uh -huh. el arquitecto, sería la, como la arquitecta. Es verdad. Uh -huh. Es una mujer creativa. Dice el arquitecto, entonces, es una creativa. ¿Mm? Solo le vas a poner, porque dijera, el arquitecto es, entonces, una creativa mujer, así. No, so, es tan, la arquitecta es una mujer tan creativa. Cuando se le agrega lo que es The Architect y So a Creative Woman. Ajá, por eso So le vas a poner tú. Uh -huh. Yo digo que So es porque la arquitecta es una mujer tan creativa. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, porque si le ponemos. Como que piensa que so, so, eh, en el ano casi el mismo significado. ¿Mm? Y en el ano casi el mismo significado. Solo que... Y se no le lo como... Hola. Number three. Dice wireless internet access. Wireless, ¿qué es? Wireless. Eh, wireless es eh, la alámbrica. O internet. El internet. Un alámbrico. Es un alámbrico internet. Es ¿Ah? muy conveniente. El internet. Solo que, solo que ahí, ¿qué pasa? Ya me quedé confundido, ¿Mm? pero usted se agrega so, 
Jesús, teniendo lo mismo, pero mi duda es eso, ¿cómo se estaría ocupando? ¿Cómo le ocuparíamos el son? Cuando es? Yo que, so es cuando es los activos, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, te voy a dar un ejemplo, it's so necessary, beautiful, creo que lo vamos a ocupar en oración no es pequeña, y sush, donde el adjetivo es day o night, como el ejemplo que él dio, por ejemplo, te voy a dar un ejemplo, dijo que it is such a beautiful day, hoy es un hermoso día, entonces este es sush, creo entonces, que la number three es sush, creo que es pero estas son bien ¿Mm? son largas la primera y la segunda la primera porque la logite, segunda. Ah, quiero ver conveniente cuál sería en este caso cuál sería el objetivo porque la culpa a usted pero demasiado me sí no hay una, no hay una agencia hay una que sí bien feo les ha agarrado de verdad de enojados no que van a poner a llorar a mí un, un cliente me dijo que era ladrona y yo le digo perdóname pero yo no le he robado nada le dije yo. Ay, no, qué pena. Pero es que, o sea, yo los entiendo. Sí. Pero igual. Yo los entiendo. Yo le dije a la señora, yo como, como su amiga, yo le entiendo, le digo yo, pero esa es parte de, de la ganancia de un banco. Lo malo que no nos explicaron eso, ¿verdad? Eso fue el problema, fíjate. Es que en principio Porque si no hubiéramos dicho, hubiéramos dicho a los clientes, no hubiéramos tenido tanto. Que pagaran los intereses. Porque sí. fíjate que yo tengo un crédito y a mí sí me dijeron, este, me dijeron que si no quería pagar el crédito, que no lo pagara, pero los intereses corrientes sí. Ajá. Entonces, y yo comencé con eso, yo le digo a mi compañera, ¿por qué me están diciendo esto? Y le enco fuimos encontrando lógica. All right, let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer that would like to do the first one. Let me, Carla Beatrice, number one, please. Carla Beatrice, what is your answer? It is good to know the cash flow, they are so important. Excellent. So, number two, Roxana Valladares, number two. Number two, Roxana Valladares. Number two. No. No. The architect, um, the architect. Very good. Such is correct. <laughs> Such a creative woman. Thank you. Carla Yesenia, number three. Um, wireless internet access is so. Excellent, so convenient. convenient. Number four, okay. number four, please. Uh, Daniel Armando, number four. Number four, all the inventions we created are so pop popular. Very good. The computer was such, was such a significant invention. Checking your financial statement was 
so, so difficult before. All right. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Y'all have a good night, and we see you tomorrow.